Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today it's an art video, finally, and you know what I realized? I haven't posted a piece of art in over a year. So this one is the first one in quite a while and I will be very rusty, but I hope you'll enjoy the video. I'm gonna be rambling a bit through it. Don't forget, if we reach 300k subs this summer, I will cook chop suey in real life, so you will most likely see my face in that video. <laughs> and I hope you'll enjoy this. Get some water, get some snacks, let's have a good time, and I hope you will like the art. Or whatever. <laughs> Enjoy. Having not drawn in a couple months, I would say, uh, definitely not as precise as this anyway, I had to start completely from scratch. I have no of my <laughs> automatic things that I used to do. I forgot all about it, especially faces, and we're gonna run into a roadblock pretty soon with that. Here is something I tried to draw in between. I think this was maybe four months ago, or maybe it was last summer even, I don't remember. I remember trying to draw this before, and this is what it looked like, and I'm pretty glad that this project got abandoned, because it does not look good at all. So today we're gonna try and make this, or at least my original idea, which was this, and make it a lot better. And combining, I guess, two pieces of art together. The resources I'm using is Bellona from Epic 7, as well as, of course, Ningwon from Genshin Impact, and I'm gonna blend them together. All right, I, 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 I'm hitting a block. I need to, I need to go and ask my art friends how you progress from here. <laughs> I'll be back later. I then indeed went and asked my art friends what I should do, and I tried to share with them my, <laughs> my art so far. So it was a bit of a spoiler for them, but they gave me lots of really good advice. And this is something else I really like about art: is just you can communicate with your friends or other artists about how they do things and kind of learn from a bunch of different blends and. One of the things I like a lot about the idea of traveling is learning about new cultures and with art it's kind of the same, right? You learn people's like habits, I guess. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't help but laugh at this face still. I'm so unhappy about it when I look at it, but I'm promising it gets better. It gets way better, but it's nice. You see the process here too. <laughs> Honestly, these eyes don't look too bad. But <laughs> The eyebrows can fix it. Be like happy eyebrows. Now it's like a, huh? Wait, how do you do the nose? <laughs> That's not it. Those eyes look pretty good though. I like those. They look great. I keep punching my microphone. I'm so sorry. There is a lot to this. If I make this maybe a bit taller instead, and this goes through it. Oh, that looks nice. And this is like a, a little, a little bit less steep, perhaps. Hey. That's not bad. It's, it's a bit too anime, perhaps. I don't know, I think the eyes, I mean, I need a lot of practice with the eyes, not gonna lie. I've completely lost it, plus these look like f <laughs> Nintendo Wii me creation eyes out here. <laughs> the soulless eyes, but maybe I can fix them easily, actually. No, 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 not there, not there, not there. Also, it seems people like cut off the top and the bottom, like this. Eh, I don't know if it's any better. It has, it has something, at least. <laughs> the smile doesn't. <laughs> this is like born Ning Wong, she does not like the cocktail. <laughs> As you can see, I've completely lost all the basics, and I just decided to practice it a little bit, ask for some more advice, make some eyes, make some mouths, just to test it out. They're deceivingly difficult to draw, I'll be on all, every time. I don't know if you saw, but at the bottom left, I'll add a little live thing, that's when I'm commentating as I'm drawing, and all of this is, of course, during editing. I think I'm maybe drawing in too small resolution. I'm drawing on 500 by 500 pixels, I don't know if that's enough. I think that's what people usually tell me to do, but for example, this eye... Looks decent. Uh, it's not my. It's not great. I don't like it a lot. But I think it's better than whatever is here. So I was like, I'll make it smaller and try and put it on the face. But when I make it smaller, it looks. Oh, I've ruined it. When I make it smaller, it looks like it's. It's just like blending the pixels together. And look at this. The res becomes cool water, like my stream a couple years ago. I'm gonna be trying eyes for a while though. But I do need to get some lunch. So hey, you take care of yourself too. Go get a snack. Go get a drink. And then uh, let's keep making some eyes. Speaking of low resolution, the Ning Wang that I had in imported and changed size multiple times became super pixelated so I had to import a new one and decided to try these eyes that I drew on Ning Wang's face but it looked incredibly creepy <laughs> so I decided let's just import a new one and try to just draw Ning Wang's face essentially and here again trial and error eyes are so difficult there's so many small details and what's weird is when you're focusing on them you know when I look at them now they actually look pretty okay okay except for that right one I don't know where the eyebrow is going but I think it's going back to Liwa from here <laughs> Either way, I think the nose looked pretty good. These eyes look decent now too when I look at them. And this mouth that I had for a frame, that was like an open mouth. I don't know what I did with this mouth, but I'll be honest, I kind of like the open mouth. It looked pretty good, but I changed it. And then positioning of the mouth and everything, it's... Oh, there's so much effort and... Uh, 
Artists, I respect it. I'd want to be as good as you guys one day. Uh, I just realized my microphone was muted this entire time, but I wasn't really saying anything. It was mostly a bunch of groaning. <laughs> Anyway, it feels like we've made it somewhere with the face now, and I'm very happy about it. I actually feel like I, I kind of recognize Ning Wong, and I didn't even like trace her face or anything. I really did it based on what I saw, and I tried to copy it, more or less, and I'm very happy with how it's looking, so. This big. This good. See, this is some, this is some text someone told me. You have to flip the canvas to make sure it looks good, and then you do it, and... There's clearly something messed up about the face. <laughs> Can't quite put my finger on it yet. It's something about the eye positioning. I think maybe the left eye needs to be a bit lower still. Or like the angle of this eye. That looks kind of good. Eh? I, I can't tell if it looks messed up or not. Maybe this eye is a bit too big. I think this is okay. I think she looks alright. Maybe I'm just getting used to the messed up face though. <laughs> I don't know. I like it though. I think this is still okay. The mouth might be a bit more crooked, but yeah, I think I can fix the mouth a bit perhaps. That looks pretty good. I would say, I would guess. Hey, I don't mind this, guys. I mind it a little bit. It's too far to decide. That's what it is. Maybe that's not what it is at all. I'm an artist. <laughs> now she, before she looked kind of evil, you know, like evil smile, but now, now she looks kind of like just nice and comforting. I like that. I think it's fixed. I'm not gonna touch it anymore. I'm just gonna be safe about it. Wow, I'm glad I redid the face shape. That really helps. That was messed up before. <laughs> I feel like the hardest part about getting fingers right is that this needs to be pointy. When you don't do that, it looks like cyborg hands. It needs to be more hollow, I feel. <laughs> Not like a tarantula, though. That's something I often do. I try to, like, correct something, and I, like this, I over-exaggerate it. I want to add like a slice of um, Sunsetia or something. Do we have a local equivalent of Leo? I don't think we do. I'm not gonna put no Julian chili <laughs> in my drink. I think I quote unquote waste too much time on details like this in the rough sketch or whatever you want to call it. Of course, it's still practice, so it's never really lost time per se, but there's no point in all the details, especially if I plan on changing them, because I want to do a Sunsetia, of course, instead of these lemon slices, but it's something I've noticed. I, I just like, I don't know, I can't. I can't do minimalistic. <laughs> I have to do too much effort all the time, and I really shouldn't. Um, her fingers are looking like she's from an alien planet. I don't know how to fix it. Uh, I don't know how to fix it. I need to draw on a bigger canvas. It's too small. Like, it's too pixelized. I can count the pixels in my strokes. It's not good. I think this is something people do when they're entirely done, but I wanted to also clean up my layers. So what I did is I traced the neat looking part without auto scribbles, etc. to then color it. In general, just have a nicer overview and be able to see the things I messed up more easily, perhaps. You know, like right there, I tilted the head a little bit. Things like that. Just small details. I think it's kind of smart to do this. I don't know if it's something you should do in the middle of the work, uh, but I did and it helped me. So <laughs> maybe uh, it's my own spice. I've added it myself. It works wonderfully. I still try to name my layers every now and then, but you know, you zone out once and you draw on the wrong layer and then it's so incredibly difficult to, you know, move that to a different layer. So I try my best to keep stuff layered, but usually it doesn't really work out the way I would hope. I end up adding stuff here anyway, so it's not just a neat trace. I knew it wasn't done with the work yet, so I knew I was going to add stuff slowly and surely still, which is what I'm doing now. But in general, I feel like even just the tracing here looks pretty okay, and it helps my hand be a bit more steady when I do drawings like this. I can clearly see here that I struggle a little bit with proportions, but it's things that I think I will get used to again. I think my uh, plan from, from here on out is to start coloring and mostly shading and adding detail, but for some reason I can't figure out, like, my, my pen... I swear this thing had, like... This, which I tried to enable earlier, pen pressure, but it just doesn't do it anymore. It looks like it was some kind of glitch because I restarted the app and now when I do this, it's like not very thick, but when I press, it's thicker. So I guess it was a glitch. I don't know. It works now anyway, which is good. And now I'm gonna try. I actually really want to try and color. It's gonna be some. I found this surprisingly fun. I feel like people always say that it's not a good time and it's very difficult to learn and just not that fun to do, but I enjoyed doing the coloring. It looked really good from the start. From the get-go, I was convinced that I was doing pretty well and that's motivating. I tried to add some more custom details. I didn't do too much, but like 
Things like the Mora instead of the, I mean, it was already Primo Gem shaped. I consider Primo Gem, but Ning Wang, come on, it has to be Mora. It's also like her color scheme, right? So I thought it was perfect, a perfect fit. Other than that, I tried some details, some shading. So as you can see the hair, it looks awful without color, but I'm pretty confident that after coloring it, those ugly lines that look awful end up looking pretty good. So I was happy about that as well. I was told, I think for shading, you need to start with the darkest tone. You just cover the whole surface and then slowly but surely go to the lighter tones. That's why this anyway slowly brightening it up and I don't know if it ended up looking good but in my opinion for my average it was good I definitely struggled with how to color here I like copied the layer and then I lowered the opacity after so that I could like color it in but then my color also would be half opacity so I it took a while but eventually I realized copy it make a layer under it and then color the layer under it manually instead of using the paint bucket like a lazy ass which is definitely what I was trying to do <laughs> Forgot about this, forgot about the alien moment. <laughs> I never cleaned this up. I think I can do that now. I'll try anyway. And I did. I totally zoned in. I redid the alien hand, but nicely. No longer a Zorglorb 55 resident <laughs> and kept Ning's face in the corner there for her skin tones. I then slowly worked on fades such as like the shadows and just different skin tones in different areas. And honestly, very happy with the result. Uh, the light play, especially on the dress with the coloring there, I'm incredibly happy about. I, as I was doing it, it's kind of crazy. It's something you need to step back and then come back later and have a look at it because as you're doing it, it's, at least in my opinion, it's very difficult to see what you're doing as you're doing it. So you just go away, go for like a, a walk, go get a drink or something. And you come back and you look at the results and you're like, wow, this is actually not bad, which happens in a second here, I'm pretty sure. Cause I completely zone in and forget to get lunch. I'm like two hours post lunch. Cause I'm just having fun. It's therapeutic. It's nice. I like art. This is definitely the part I'd like to improve at the most with art right now. It's, I haven't come up with anything about this dress. Like it was all pre-made and I copied it and I just wish I had the inspiration. And then eventually <laughs> the understanding of how the dress would be, where the folds would be to be able to make it look just as nice as in this picture. And I don't know, be able to design my own things and understand everything about it but that's so many steps in the future and with the limited amount of time i have i'm pretty happy with how far we got already i then made this super ugly at the time i thought anyway sincetia but it kind of grew on me it looks kind of cute though i like it Ah, time for another break <laughs> i just sat back down after having some lunch and i look at this and i'm like wow <laughs> this looks really good. And the best part is, I think anyway, I drew it like this. And the mirrored one is looking good. And even this ugly sunsetia I was working on that I thought looked absolutely disgusting as I was making it, ends up looking nice. Gotta finish the legs, and then I think I'm gonna draw the table, and then I'm just gonna do background, which I'm also gonna try, and that's gonna be not exciting. <laughs> Let's get back to it. The total amount of time I recorded for this video was about six hours, a little over six hours, which means <laughs> my neck hurts. <laughs> I didn't think of it at all. And as I said, I zoned in, didn't think of stretching at all. Definitely will do that in the future as well. Yeah, six hours approximately, which I think is a decent amount of time for what I drew. Doing art makes me realize also how much time people spend on it, right? And how important, I mean, how thankful I should be for all the fan art people make for me. I, I, I know it takes effort, but it makes me even prouder that there's people that take the time out of their day to make fan art. Hashtag Rednart, you know it, uh, on Twitter still. Thank you so much for fan art, as always. It warms my heart, and I'm super happy to see it. Now, this is the first time I'm going to be trying to do a background. It's not very detailed, but I enjoyed making the small items that fit well in the theme as well. And here's another little reference to Genshin with the silk flower. No, it's not silk flower. I forgot what it's called. The lily of the valley or something. <laughs> I actually forgot what it was called. But the blended clouds in the sky was super cool to try and uh, I was running out of time, I did notice, so the end was a little bit rushed in comparison to the rest, but if I get more time and people enjoy this, I can take more time making more pieces and I'll keep getting better. At least that's what I assume. I even took the time to clean up some ugly slip ups on the outline. You know, I went back and with a nice color, fixed it a little bit and then finished the table with this really nice kind of sunny shadow purple color that I'm a big fan of. <laughs> Definitely discovered the blending tool this time as well. Very useful tool. Definitely recommend the blending tool. Big W. And I think that's about it. We almost finished the piece of art. Thank you for watching.
There you go. I think it's done. I don't want to add anything anymore. What if I can add something to the table? What would Ning Wang always bring with her? Her purse. Her I mini edition Beto. I'm not drawing a mini edition Beto. <laughs> I'm not doing that. If you have an idea of what what would look great here, let me know. Maybe you don't need more than this. Maybe this is just you enjoy your time and you're happy with it. And you know what? I'm happy with this. <laughs> but I will say my motivation was really high. So I was completely fine with trying out a bunch of new things. And I think this looks really good. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like the piece of art. Personally, I think it's the best one I've ever made. I'm also very happy that it, I don't seem that rusty. Maybe one day we will make something completely of our own, but I'm not at that level of skill yet. We'll see. All right, lots of love, take care, and I will see you in the next one very soon. Bye-bye.